What's up world? It's your boss International Zoe. I'm here in Medellin, Colombia. And it's my pleasure to sit down with a beautiful Colombian sister. Thank you. <laughs> and, and content creator, Kitsi. Yeah, hey, what's going on? What's going on guys? I am Kitsi, La Crispoide. My YouTube channel is La Crispoide. Uh, I talk about the Colombian and other countries too, you know. So in my in my channel you can look nightlife, mm, other situation too. <laughs> you need to look. You need to look. <laughs> yeah, please check her out. Um, so just we'll start from the beginning. Um, where are you from? I am from Florencia Caquetá. You know Florencia Caquetá? No. <laughs> please mm. explain. <laughs> okay. I, I living in in Cali. But born in Florencia Caquetá, this city is like it's very very long distance. No, it's famous, but it's amazing. It's very very nice. Have rivers, mountains. It's amazing. You need you need visit really. Okay, yes. So it's Amazonic, you know. Okay, it's, it's Masonic. Yes. Oh wow! I didn't even know like they had Amazon. Like Amazon. Oh Amazonic. Like Amazonic. Amazonic. Okay, okay, so Amazonic. Like country. So, yes. So, you grew you grew up there, and then you moved to Cali. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. When me nine years. Nine years old. Gone to yes. Gone okay. to Cali. What are the differences between where you grew up, your city, and Cali? Is there similarities? Is that's where there are more afro Colombianos, Colombian people there? In Cali. In Cali or where you grew up? Cali is the city with more black people in Colombia. Uh, it's in the second in the America Latin, you know, the first is in Brazil. So, but in my city, I am the unique black girl. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 not unique, but I understand it's, what you're it's, saying. It's a little people black. Mm -hmm. um, normal is indigenous, indigenous, okay, indigenous people. people. Yes. Okay. Uh, even talk uh, like language, indigenous language. Oh yeah, yeah. they do. In little town. Towns. Okay, nice. To, nice to know. So, how was life growing up in Cali, Colombia? The life? Yes, for a, a, a young lady like yourself. So the experience, good, really amazing. So I love Cali. Cali is uh, it's like my second. My second hunt, <laughs> uh, but when me come to Cali, or go to Cali, very very sad because all my life in Florencia, you know, my home, my friends, my high school, everything in Florencia, I come to Cali and like, <laughs> what happened? Even me never stu studying with with boys. Oh, uh, you went to like go yes. go girl school. Yes, only girls. When we change and with boys, it's like oh, it's, it's different. Right. The 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 girls. I remember the first first day, they say me, "What man you like?" I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> you not seen it that? Me very right. innocent. Right. So I say, what happened? So in 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 my city, the people is more innocent. Mm -hmm. Cali is more city, you know. Fast life. Yes, it's like oh, I'm mean, like oh, what happened? Okay. <laughs> Afraid. Oh, you were afraid when you first got there. Yeah. Um, tell me, how is maybe Cali? Because Cali is, I guess, one of the few popular destinations in Colombia, and maybe it's like fourth or fifth, depending who you ask. How is Cali different from, let's say, Cartagena, Bogota, Medellin, cities that people usually travel to? How is Cali different, in your opinion? Okay, in my opinion, in Cali, okay, no, it's too, 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 too different. Okay. But, um, for example, the party is different. The party is more salsa, you know, because it's a capital of the salsa. world. Salsa. I, I went to a salsa club there and I did not dance because they were dancing too well. <laughs> I just sat there and watched. It was just, I wasn't ready for that. It's too much. I need lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. If you want to learn, you need to go to go to Cali. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in Medellin, in in Bogota, the people not dance good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
but it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in Cartagena or in Medellin, I think the, the, the party is different. It's like more maybe reggaeton, electronic, lo, lo, yes. more, more varied, yes. you know? But, but, right. but yes, my pronouns is, is so all right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it done. Don't worry about it, sister. We're gonna get it done. <laughs> so yes, I I think in in this is the the more big difference. Okay. But in general, the people the people is amazing in Cali. It's very happy. It's like mm -mm, like me, like me. Like okay, me. okay. So, but for example, in Bogota, the people is like more cold, more. They go with the weather. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's like this. Mm, maybe no. Okay, maybe not too friendly. Mm -hmm. This is mm. big city life, like New York. Not yes. so friendly. People are moving, going about their day. So I can understand that. Um, what is like maybe the main profession in Cali, Colombia? Like, what's the work like different? Is there a lot of corporate work there, or is it a different type of uh, workforce there? Because I could imagine, in if you want, if you follow me, in. Um, Bogota is probably like real like commercial working, office buildings and stuff like that. It's, it's different in Cartagena. In Cartagena is, is more mm, the people like more, more business, tourism. Like, more tourists. Right. No, Cali, when you go, no, it's like aggressive. No, it's, it's car, everything right. is car, you know. So obviously there are different professions in like whatever place. Right. <laughs> So, but it's everything more more, more calm. I I think more you know. Calm. But if you go to the downtown, mm, you can you can feel like more aggressive. The people yeah. want to call. Hey. I didn't get a chance to go to Century. Yeah, a lot but, more vendors. Yeah, yeah more people sell. Right, and Kitty, I reached out to her when I did visit Cali, and she told me to to, to stay in a certain area, right, Granada. That's yeah. it, right? She told me to stay in Granada and be near the Tippy Tappy Mall, so I thank you for that. You, uh -huh. you, you had me in the right direction. You put, put, put us in the right direction. So let's move forward and um, let's say, what inspired you to do your YouTube channel? Really, really, when I start, I start with uh, with tips or advice for my curly hair. Yeah. For this reason, is the name, you know? Tell them about the name and the, the meaning. Of, you know. It's, it's uh, La Crespolde is like girl with curly hair yes. in Spanish, you know. And I started with this, but I have one friend, YouTuber. I am Marwa, I don't know if you know. Yeah, I cut his hair one time. We okay. met in uh, in uh, Mexico. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I meet Marwa, but online. Mm -hmm. He, he touched me one day and he he tell me about the the channel, you know. He say, "Wow, that's amazing," you know. So I say, mm, "Maybe maybe contact when he come to Colombia." Mm -hmm. This situation happens in Bogota, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he helped me too much and uh, <laughs> collaborate on my channel like boom 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 more oh, more, more uh -huh. big. I I love Mawa for this reason. Shout out to Mawa. <laughs> He's a good guy, man. He gave a lot of advice and inspiration to a lot of people. Yes, because for example, in this time, my channel now no, it's too big, but in this in this time, like <laughs> nothing right. subscriber, nothing. And he like in this time, like maybe seven seventy subscribers, mm -hmm. seventy thousand subscribers, like seventeen went from seven. No, seven no seven zero zero seventy thousand seventy thousand. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And. He collaborated with me, you yeah, know. Right. So in Colombia, no happened that. Yeah. If you are a big, yeah, a big, you, you know, you know, you, you know, know, pay attention <laughs> with the little people, right, right. you know. And yeah. me like, wow, this this is nice. It's nice inside, you know. Right. Uh, he helped me, you know. And uh, my objective when I I, I I start my channel, my really objective is travel. But this time. Me, bad situation, no money, no having nothing uh -huh. with me. <laughs> me no, me no, no can travel this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I need a start, and for this reason, I start with the Kelly Hair. Okay, so you always had your objective was always to travel. Yeah. But you just to stay busy until you were able to travel. You started talking about the hair, which is good because when there's a lot of YouTube channels that talk about beauty and hair and tips for women with curly hair and so on and so forth. So that's good. 
but it probably changed your market because that was all women and then when you start doing traveling did it change did you get a lot of more male followers subscribers so i started with curly hair but i look like mm, the people look a little you okay. know when mar, mar when marwa helped me my channel like mm, mm, better i say okay okay when i can when i can travel i start and I start travel you know and step up keep a step a step by step you know mm -hmm. so and i say okay i i look in i pay attention with the videos with curly about curly hair and the travel is like no happen nothing nothing with this no more right. i mean no more right. only travel right. and i pay attention to the people uh talking english my right. my, my 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 subscribers Your audience yeah. yes i say okay maybe need put like subtitle in english yes because my Translator. English is terrible. <laughs> so I say, okay, like this, I boom, boom, boom. But one day I say, okay, maybe me try talking, Spanish, talking English and made my first live stream in English. <laughs> so how did you learn English? Uh, really in high school, okay. um, like university, like normal, you know? So my father and my mother talk English. Oh. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> but me, uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> and I think maybe he helped me poquito, little, little. Right. So, um, okay. So, when me my, make my first life stream in English, very nervous, very terrible, very, oh my goodness. But, oh my God. My subscribers are amazing, super me, say you can, you need to try more, you yeah, you know, right. like motivation, right. super me. Right. So it's different. So I say, what? In Colombia, the people, when you not talk uh, perfect English, the people, ha, 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 you know, like, right. Right. I obviously me feel bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even now, when me not talk amazing English and I make my videos like this, mm -hmm. sometimes the people in Spanish say, you talk terrible English. Oh, people, people tell me, if you talk terrible Spanish, Americans, they, <laughs> they beat me up. <laughs> I know the feeling, let's just say yeah, that was it. I feel bad, obviously, mm -hmm. but right. with the time, it's like, okay, it's more opinions. Right. I respect the different opinions. Right. I try, you mm -hmm. know. And it's more people support me than the bad people. Right. The bad you energy. always get more support. We yes. only get the good energy. That's right. Like, That's, okay. right. That's right. That's and right. That's right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so I've watched some of your videos and I've seen you travel to different parts of Colombia. Is Colombia going to be your main focus, and then you're going to travel outside of Colombia? So, or are you going to stay in Colombia, specialize in Colombia? Okay, now focus in Colombia. So I have videos in other places, not much, uh, like Panama, uh, Ecuador, um, uh, Aruba, uh, okay, different places, you know? Right. So, um, but my focus is in Colombia now. Okay. But in the future, Mm. <laughs> in the photo I want to travel yes. in the world. It's right. my it's my plan. Right, right. So obviously you need to um, organize different right. situations and right. How is it being a female YouTuber? One, when you're a YouTuber a lot of times you travel alone. So you put yourself in sometimes situations, you know, you, you feel a little nervous, you might feel a little bit afraid because you're going alone to some place that you don't know. Um, in your case you're here, maybe you're a little more comfortable, but still you might be going into some cities you've never been before. And you're a female, so how does it how is it being a female traveling different places alone? Okay. So the situation in general obviously feel afraid. Mm -hmm. But my like philosophy is I made everything with a fry. You know? Yeah. I need try. If me not try, no get nothing. Right. I say, okay, I feel a fry but let's go with my backpack you know <laughs> and obviously I, I i i believe in god i say i pray you know <laughs> god protect I pray. You. Yes. yes god protect me mm -hmm. and me but Good. it's Good. about that so it's um i i try like for example ask or look videos research yes for 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 no 
dangerous areas, obviously for no go, right. or for no go alone, right. you know? So I think it's important that. But sometimes the people talk bad about the different cities, and when you go, you say, what happened? It's not, it's not as bad, yes. 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 For this reason, I say, no believe nothing. You need try. See it yourself. You need, yes, you need to live your experience, you yes. know? Yes. It's about that. I, mean, I talk I, I talk about about whatever place because it's my bad experience. Right. But if you enjoy it's okay. Right, right. Okay, so let's talk about you have an insight on Colombia. A lot of guys you know from America come here to meet the girls, the beautiful women of Colombia. And in your opinion, like I saw you ask some girls on the street about foreigners, what kind of foreigners they like, what they date foreigners and stuff like that. And from your experience and your opinion, what, how do you how do you feel about the guys that come over here to see the girls and stuff like that? Just in your what advice would you give them and how do you feel about that? Being a Colombian woman. Honestly It's my advice. <laughs> no, because of course, like in my opinion, like I know some people maybe women here and men here think that guys are coming here just for the girls meaning maybe possibly the working girls but I think the guys that come here don't speak the language and it's more difficult to communicate with a girl in the mall they might be a little more intimidated to walk up to a girl in the mall and say hey how you doing with their little Spanish and thinking that they're gonna get a reception so they end up staying in the tourist areas like they go to the park and go where the party is and they meet those girls and I think some guys because sometimes you meet a girl and you don't know that a, she might be a working girl a and she is you might go on tinder and you meet a girl and right. you don't know that until they say well what you gonna give me or something right. like that so there's like a, it's two sides of that you know what I mean like I feel like the guys that come here didn't create that that was already here I agree with you, you know so Yes, they come here and they are interested in a beautiful woman, but I think they would take a, a, a good girl, per se, over a, a working girl if it was a better route to it. Right. It's okay, I understand your okay. point. So, for example, for me, it's, it's, it's okay if the people come for, for being, for, no, for meat, for meat girls in Colombia, it's okay for, for, for everything because sometimes I think the more time is the more percent is because seeing the the Colombian girls is different. It's like more mm, um, <laughs> exotic as they more, say. more happy, more, more they do maybe more friendly, more more pamper, you know? I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. So even if it's a normal girl or working girl, it's okay. So for me even in Colombia, no, it's illegal. It's legal. Yes. It's not bad when you come yeah. for working girls. It's not bad. It's your taste. It's your money. <laughs> yeah, because even the regular locals pay the working girls as well. It's not just the foreigners come. Because if you go into a casa or something, the regular Colombian guys be there too. Yeah. So From what I heard. So, and, and, and not all time working girl is bad, yeah, you know? They you, don't know, you don't know the, the reason because right. the girl made that. Mm. Me no juice. Really. Don't judge, right. No, no, no. It's okay for me. Right. So, I think in general, if you want to see Colombia for meet girls, it's amazing. Right. Mm, even with, for learning Spanish, yes. you know, different culture you, you learn, for, for you feel different because if you meet other person in this country it's better yeah you know not like you alone like <laughs> no if <Yeah>. you <laughs> if you have the the friends right it's more easy for everything for yeah. me the city for working around you right. know right. It's, it's, good. it's good and i think uh i started with a, a tutor shout out to jennifer she's my spanish tutor and we're gonna go to visit jericho we're going to take me to Jericho. It's another beautiful area a couple hours from here. Ah, it's a town. Yes. Okay. And I think, too, through your Spanish tutors or teachers, they could show you more, too, and, and introduce you to the regular locals, you know, and so maybe you can get out of the tourist areas. But I don't have no problem with people coming in the tourist areas starting there, because I think 
you will eventually, on your own time, journey outside of that, you know? And I would like to say, visiting other countries is not really looked down upon here, working girls. Like, they, they're not ashamed to say that they're working girls. In some countries, maybe like Dominican Republic, they don't want nobody to know. My all my family don't take pictures and stuff like that. But here in Colombia, they look at it as work. Period. They say I'm going to work. You know. So I don't know if the Colombians look down on the working girls, but they don't seem to look down on themselves. You understand? Okay. In my opinion. Yeah. Uh, okay. In the world, but in Colombia, there are stereotypes. Yeah. You know. So obviously, when you you have this world the people not like most. The people think you are bad, you no no one be like your friend. Yes. You don't want to be mixed in with that crowd. Because the people use too much. In Colombia it's like mm, you're working? Mm. Judgmental. Yes, it's about that. Okay. So for example, I, I, I meet one girl one day in Yellow Park. She talked me and and say me, okay. <laughs> So yeah, and amazing, you know, and she tell me about the her history, right. and I say, oh my goodness, it's like sad, yes. and I understand why sometimes the people work in in, in this work. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. So you know, so but in general, it's bad. It's bad. Okay, it's, it's bad. looked upon bad. Yes. Um, how do you feel living here with the influx of many? Venezuela. How how are the Colombian people feel about the influx of Venezuelans? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the situation with Venezuelan people is uh, when Venezuelan people come to Colombia, work but work for less money, you know. And obviously, Colombian people lost the job. Work. Yes, right. the job. And obviously mad. Obviously, what happened? I am Colombian and now have the job for because other work. person, no. the other country, come not like mm -hmm. you know. And same with Mexico, Mexicans in America. Mm, yes. Same problem they had. They were even beating up the Mexicans and stuff at one point. So Back. and the people talk now and say, oh, maybe Colombian people bad with the Venezuelan people. I understand the situation, but the life. Year. You know, in the past, long time ago, Colombian in the situation, Venezuelan situation, yes. and go to Venezuela, yes. and the, Colo the Venezuelan people accepted not them. nice with Colombian Oh, they people. wasn't. I well, thought they accepted them in as well. That's why they showed a little love back, but you saying no. No. Oh. Because in this time, uh, in Venezuela, very, very rich, yes. you know, many money for well. the petroleum. Petroleum? Yes. Petroleum, it's, it's, it's yes. Well, okay. And Colombian people obviously go, go, go. And Venezuelan people, eh, mm, like, okay, like, okay. You know, the life is like this. Today yes. you are good, me bad, but tomorrow maybe me amazing and you bad. So I think it's very, very important you pay attention how how you you know treat how other you, people yes you you need to be good with the people right. because you don't know what happened tomorrow right it's about that right right um any advice for female content creator because i've had advices on guys and they talk in general but you being a female content creator do you feel that there uh, there are any different things that problems you have of being a female content creator being a woman like and chocolate. making youtube so um in general it's, it's amazing for me it's amazing but obviously there are men mm, no respect you know right. sometimes in in my youtube channel or in my instagram send me that's very uh, i yeah. say what happened you know what happened or even pictures about me mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i say what happened yeah. Yeah. never talk with me never nothing and like obviously block you know right. sometimes the people think when you uh, have the youtube channel can can talk with you bad you know right no respect you yes even when you, for example, I put the picture 
uh, maybe like more 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 sexy. Right. The people think mm, can tell me. I don't know. Yeah. Mm, you know. You want to get personal. Situation bad. Yes. Or, or dancing. When me dancing, the people like it's about a stereotype. The people. If me dancing, for example, um, twerking, is bad. It's right. terrible. For right. me, it's normal because it's a dance. Right. You know, it's normal. It's it's my culture. I am I am like girl. It's, this is this is you yeah, know. we feel a beat. It's my roots. <laughs> That's like, right. I dance. It's, it's my my sangre. In your soul. Yes. Yeah. For me, it's normal. Right. But the people think sometimes when we make like these videos like this. It's, what happened with you? You never get a, a, a man because you are a bad girl. It's and that's coming from females, other women? Uh, no, men. men. Men, just men. Men text me that. But do you have women that, like trolls, we call them trolls, <laughs> that bother you all the time? Is it women or is it only men? Really men. Yeah. Not a problem that's, with, with it, girls. That's cool though. I mean, that's similar to everybody. It's men. It's never well. Unfortunately, we don't ever have girls sending us new pictures as male YouTubers. <laughs> that is yet to happen. <laughs> you need so that. You're, you're having advantages, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, but that's cool because I never had an opportunity to ask that question, and it just came to mind that your experiences is to make there's some that's different because you are a female, you know. But we all have trolls, so just don't worry about them. Just block them, you know. So I remember uh, sometimes I, I I I record real streets, you know. Mm -hmm, yes. There are real streets. There are girls. Right. You know. Obviously, it's yes. normal life. And the, the man said to me, "You are lesbian because you show girls." Uh. Okay. No, it's yeah. my problem. I I know about me. Yeah. I, I I am. I am no, no people lesbian. Are people oh, are what crazy. is uh, heterosexual? Yeah, a heterosexual, yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that okay if you think that about me? It's okay, it's your yeah. problem. No, it's about me. It's, yeah. it's, yes. So tell people where they can find you your YouTube or if you have a website and your Instagram if you want to share. Tell people. So, okay, yes, obviously. Spell it too, just for, to <laughs> make it easy for them. Yes, um, if you want to know more about my country, Colombia, you know, so follow me on my Instagram, La Crespoide, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's the same, La Crespoide.